My boat is not stock anymore. I've added a few things like an um, offshore trolling motor, a custom tackle box, some custom rod holders uh, on both the bow area and on the stern area, um, a subfloor and a platform up front fishing wise. And I, I built most of this myself to include, I cut that hutch out, that hutch step out and put in a sliding cooler. So the boat still sits on the original trailer. I did add a spare tire mount. You always need a spare tire and also some extra hubs. Again, just walking around it, it's ice blue, twin axle. I've replaced the entire brake assembly this past year before I went to Key West. And uh, you know what? It lasted almost four years. Well, not bad in salt water, but I rinse my boat down every time I get out of the water and I wash it when I get home. Here are some of those custom rod holders I mounted on the back they actually i went in and mounted them to where i can actually troll with them if i want to but of course i don't i use them more for just uh bottom fishing and to store to store some of my extra rods this is my aft ice chest i think it's in still pretty good shape i think the whole boat's in pretty good shape actually but it is mine so i'm biased walk all the way around i did add a couple bolt-on rod holders up front and uh you know overall love the boat i've got forward spotlights i've got the t-top obviously with the cloth top and i've got some aft spotlights added to it they help out a lot late at night tea bag got gopro mounts all around it I don't know if you see that, but there's the custom uh, slide out cooler and custom bait tackle box. I'll show you that once I get inside. So this is the exterior. I think the boat's held up fine. It, it actually travels really well. I have no problem. I'll pull it with my wife's Jeep Gladiator and I have yet to have a problem. Well, I consider it a problem anyway of towing that boat and I even towed it with my four door Jeep at one point. So. Towing wise, it's okay. Um, trailering, not bad. Overall, I'm pleased with the boat. And I will just add real quick, Key West, I have the Linko 12 inch trim tabs. Those things are phenomenal. Just got through cleaning it up. I took the um, center piece out of it so you can see that when it's not installed, you do have your cup holders. And of course, that's the mount for the trolling motor, 36 volt. And we're gonna open up, excuse me, we're gonna open up the anchor well. Got it all nice and clean. Well, actually I keep it clean. I got the anchor out right now, just so that I can get that rope cleaned up. You know, they do start to smell. And here we have the left side of port side fish box. And we'll switch over here to the right side fish box. And as we pan around on both the starboard side and the port side, you're going to notice that, well, we have some speakers, but also I installed some rod holders. And then, of course, on the center console forward seat, I actually converted the ice box into a actual live well with lighting. And I'll show you that power setup in a minute. And then, of course, it is for sale as we go back to help you pick the best blinds shades shutters and more need help with measuring and installation we've got you we have i'll show you these from the back side but i have some more rod holders that i had installed on the transom up to 40 percent off now at blinds.com rules and restrictions may apply got overhead one two three four five six rocket launchers and we have four one two three four that we have behind the seating area and I have a custom made tackle box. Close that up with a pull out cooler. I'll get that pulled out real quick. So with the cooler pulled out, you know, that actually really nice to get to. 
so that you can get to your drinks or your bait or whatever you're doing in there. Let's put that back in. I did put in a little scale right there. Pan over to the helm. Nice and clean. Seven inch Garmin. Digital Yamaha gauges with your Linko tabs. You got your standard horizon radio, Hulk audio. Now keep in mind these boats do not come with do not come with avionics and in my overhead tackle. That's just where I keep my first aid kit and everything. And this boat has lighting, optional lighting, and let me step back here. It also has optional lighting rear at the rocket launchers. And those switches are right here on the side of that a spread of lights, forward and aft. And I have a forward one that's been turned on, so my battery is probably weak. And then as you come into the center console, because I did install, I did ins install a 36 volt trolling motor. I have three batteries down underneath a subfloor that I had installed and also fresh water, nine gallons, two house batteries, three bank charger. And of course I have the curtains out. I'll show some photos with the curtains in and then I mounted the fire extinguisher right there. So that's pretty much the walk around on the interior of the boat. I'll get some photos also. And it does have a cloth T-top on it. And overall for a 2017, I think you won't find one cleaner, to be honest with you. And it's on an easy load trailer. And of course, has the bolster seating. Everything's in good shape. The actual seating for the aft well and the aft seats and the Ford I don't even ever use. And here's the Ford well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed a little walk around. And uh, real quick, there's the battery switch. Plug in for your for, plug in for your three bank charger. And next time I'll show some photos with the actual center piece installed. And real quick. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found everything you wanted to find out about a Key West 219 FS if you're looking to purchase one. And like we said at the beginning of this video, Laura and I have decided we're going to sell this one. We're going to, you know, move on up, hopefully find our liveaboard great loop boat and get some practice in before we actually retire. Now, this boat is for sale. It is negotiable. Uh, reach out, contact me through YouTube here. Or, you know, you can uh, go to my Facebook and contact me that way. It's a good boat. Uh, had a, you know, a few things added to it and a few things that, you know, make it a better fishing boat. And it's still a family boat if you want to go hang out at the sandbars and everything. So take care and give us a call.